That storm really picked up quick, huh? Yeah, it did. Face. A little bit. Of I mean, it's shaking the whole camper. Oh, my. This is like a tropical storm. <laughs> like, you look out and see if anyone else is still here. I see. No, somebody just left. Oh, gosh. This is terrible. Batten down the hatches. Oh, my stomach. How are we going to know if there's a tornado? Yes, we are. Okay. It's okay. Come on, lay down. It's okay. okay. I'll stay in here with you. Cool. Hey, Syl. Yeah. We're all in here. <laughs> It's okay. I'm so nervous. Yeah, people got their headlights on and in their cars. Well, there was a lot of tent campers up there too. Oh yeah, oh my gosh. Oh, can you imagine? It's okay, sweet girl. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, see, it's funny, see? I couldn't imagine being in a tent. <laughs> Tires didn't move at all. None of the jacks moved. Everything's exactly where it was where I put it. So we didn't we didn't budge. I mean, we shook a lot, but we didn't budge. Shook so much. But I don't know how we didn't move. Yeah. I think it's. I think it's over. Or ending. We survived the night, which is good. It's still here. We didn't blow away. We're running off the generator right now. Uh, cool it down a little bit. There's no breeze like there was yesterday, so it's hot. And we're having uh, water heater issues. Our water heater's not working, uh, which means cold showers. But I got it working, but it'll only work on electric. So we're gonna get showers and stuff like that while we're running the generator and, uh, and then head out. Adventures! You guys ready for adventures? We are. Let's go. So do you just give them the whole peanut? Yeah. Look at them. They can crack it? Yeah. They're talking now. Look. Here, throw it to them. What do you think of that? Here, you want to give it to him? Here. Give it to him. Hand it to him. <laughs> oh, he's not that interested. He didn't want your peanut. Here, let's see if this one is. We absolutely love goofy tourist things. Like it's our favorite thing to do when we go places. It is. Like, oh, you can go feed animals. Well, Somebody we're recommended. All about it. One of you guys recommended this. Oh, cool. So on Instagram. Yeah, nice. I put been posting pictures on Instagram. That's breathtaking. It's so cool. Like I don't even know. Look over here. Look over here. I don't even know if that's like. It looks if you can great. get on camera, what it what it looks like. You know yeah. what I mean? It looks. Can you put your arm down? Yeah. Your arms are there. You go. It's so majestic. And he's got the hiccups. <laughs> that's wild. There's birds perched up there up on top. Yeah. Look at it. This road, we just like just climb up into it. It's so cool. Since we've gotten to like this part of the country, like it just it leaves me speechless now. Yeah. You know. It's crazy how 
We're in the same country. The same, the <laughs> same planet as Florida. Right? You know? Yeah. It's so different. Same continent. Like, how is this, how is this the same, same oh. state or same country? I feel like this footage is going to be so jerky. It's going to be like Isaiah footage. Oh, burn! <laughs> Oh man, yeah, you don't want to jump, you don't want to get excited and jump off of that. I'd have to let you go so you didn't choke. You want to see out? Here, take her. She's too excited. She would stumble. She'd be the one. Come here, you want to see? You want to come close? Come on, oh man, come up here. Isn't that cool? Look at that, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's close enough. Coming? Come on, Ab. Good job. Okay, come on, Ab. I'll get you. You want to go down? Yeah. Okay. That's a good try, Ab. Hey, hey, Look at you. You're doing so good. Okay, you don't have to. Here, hold my hand up and let mom get down. Okay. <laughs> She's gonna. Mom's gonna get you. Okay. There you go. You got it. You hold Sandy. <laughs> okay. Good job, Ab. Nice. That was so brave, Abby. I can't I believe you went this far. I know. Wow. Can we go You're way too curious. Come on. She has no fear. It makes me nervous. We've got to put yeah. a harness on her because, okay. you know, if she fell, I wouldn't be able to catch her because yeah. it's got the next and then the leash on. Here, me to hold her. Come here, Abby. Lisa with the harness and she felt like it hoist her back up. Yeah. No fear at all. Abby, come here. Mom's turn. She wanted to see the view. Hey, you did great. You went so far. It was a little scary, huh? Nothing to hold on to with your hands. It actually starts walking every time you whistle. I know. He did just pose like that, didn't he? I climbed up for this shot. It's, oh my gosh. It's so worth it. It's beautiful. It's on every side. Look at this. Okay, we'll do the kitchen tour this um, in this episode. You know, I you know I thought about it, I was like, ah, you know, it was a mess last. Yeah, I dumped water all over myself. I, it was a mess last. You're still staring at me. It was a mess last time, but I was like, you know what? Let's show it lived in. Yeah. How it actually is. I so. Mean, I'm in the process of cooking. So. Dinette slash. Uh, activity center for Abigail slash working area for us, you know, like whatever it needs to be. We'll uh, sometimes we eat there. A lot of times we eat outside, so that's nice. We do a lot of cooking and eating outside. Priscilla does all of her prep in here, though. Yeah. Now that dinette table does come out; it moves completely. We can take that outside and just put our chairs on it, so we have an outdoor table. So that was nice to kind of solve the whole like getting another table to eat outdoors with issue. Priscilla just opened the pantry with the totally unnecessary sliding barn door thing that they put in here from the <laughs> from the factory but you know it's it's cute it is. it's not very functional because you're gonna lose this wall space but at least you have a swinging door to contend with oh uh, somebody had asked on instagram what this was a subscriber from our family channel sent that to us mm -hmm. cool right we got our, our tension bars here to keep stuff from falling around when we're driving sometimes we'll drop them down like this um you know so when we're parked but keep stuff from falling out hitting the door and then 
spice rack that I installed down there. Priscilla got these compartments for putting everything in and then we, we need love to reorganize. Oh yeah, it's it does shift a lot when you're driving. Yeah. So it's kind of a mess, but we'll have a cleaning day soon. Yep. We have our freezer. Mm-hmm. We already broke one of the handles. It just it's a not an awesome design. I'm gonna I'm gonna come up with something different for that, but so that's why the freezer is missing its handle. The fridge handle broke. Somebody asked on the vlog today, like, do we cook or do we have prepared foods? We cook our food. Yep. So we go to the grocery. Um, I went once before we left, and then I've been once since we left. So you can't, I mean, obviously you can't carry that much in here. And again, they have the bars, so when you're traveling, um, things don't shift out. Right. But it works. We've hey got there. Did you come to join our tour? Our cabinets up here with all of our plates and stuff, bowls, coffee. And I think we will eventually, like as we as we find what works for us, we'll get a little more organized. I want to get like the stand that holds the plates up, yeah. that kind of thing. Um, right. But right now, you know, it works. It works. I'm so, right now. but this thing has plenty of cabinet space for us, which we like. Like we don't, yeah. we're not running out of room anywhere, so we don't have to be super conscious of space and stuff you know we can get stuff that actually functions well like a full-size cutting board and you know good size mixing bowls yeah but uh, we did get the ones that went inside of each other so right. there would be less space taken up right um and then i've got like you know wine uh, wine that's important <laughs> and our things like that and then this Serving is like ladders. extra yeah and pots and pans down in there um, this does have a stove. We've yes. never used it. But it's so tiny. We might. Yeah. Um, or, or an oven, rather. And, and the stove top we've used once or twice. Well, we use it every day for coffee. And I used it last night. I made baked beans. Right. The first time we used it a lot more because we were cooking inside more because of the yeah. weather. Microwave, never used it. Nope. But it's there if we need it. We got our silverware, um, our knife thing. The problem is they keep falling out of it every oh, time. Oh, do they? Yeah. Okay. I didn't and know you took them out on purpose. No. Miscellaneous? Yep. And then we've got a nice under the sink area here. Cleaning we've got supplies. Tablecloth. Trash bags. And the um, laundry stuff because it's super scented. Right. And I love, I love, this is my favorite part of the kitchen though. Yeah, you can. Well, other than, the, other than the multi spray sink head, faucet head because it does do all that. But this is my favorite because this adds counter space, basically. It does, yeah. I love it. Yeah. I It's perfect for what we need. I just have to make sure everybody keeps their things off of here because right. then we lose space for prepping. So. Right. And we were looking at, you know, doing this long-term. Like, when we go out, we want to go out for a long, not long-term, as in, like, we're not moving into an RV, I promise. But when we go out, we want to go out for a long period of time. So. You know, it's not just weekend camping. That's not what we were shopping for. Right. So when we pack up, which we'll have to do a video on that sometime. Yeah. But like, I just set this, the coffee things, this right in the sink. And I just make sure everything's clean. Yep. We don't normally use bottled water when we're out, but we're boondocking right now. So we have limited access to water. So that's why we're using bottled water. Yeah. Normally we use our Brita, but we can't use enough too much water in here yeah. so it's yeah this one same thing with paper plates this is the Brita that we got for drinking water that one because it fits nicely in the door yeah but yeah like Priscilla said we are we got one more day here and we're already a little low on water so we yeah. don't want to make sure we don't run out but I'll show you the most important part of our kitchen and that's outside so this is the outdoor kitchen and this is really the kitchen this is what we use the most um, it does have a fridge which I think the only thing in here is Trulies right now <laughs> But it's just an electric fridge, it's not gas electric, so we can't store food in there and travel to one stay cold. Uh, all the necessities for the Blackstone, uh, more Blackstone things. There's actually a gas stove top right here that plugs into the propane for the camper. And then the griddle, Blackstone, 22 inch Blackstone griddle with the camp table. And that hose goes right into the same propane that the rest of the camper uses, which makes it really convenient for hooking up. I'm not lugging around bottles and stuff, which I talked about that already, but I want to show you kind of how that how that was set up. So yeah, that's it. That's our that's our most used kitchen, which is crazy for actually cooking meals. Maybe we get into like a 
RV info thing at the end of every one of these videos or something like that. If you guys have questions, you can drop them down below and then yeah. we'll know what to answer in the next video. Right. Also go on Instagram, you know, ask a question there because we see a lot of those comments as they're coming through throughout the day. Yeah. So, yeah, if you have questions on stuff, Let us know hit us up on see. Instagram. I don't know. Yeah. For or sure. on the RV side of things. Yeah. Well, and I like filming. I like filming where we're going and the travel and the experiences and stuff like that. But I know that, you know, people like RV stuff too. So. And, you know, I, one thing I want to really focus on is that we bought this specific one with Abigail in mind um, you know one of the things that we learned is that she doesn't travel well airplane wise we could drive anywhere but airplane wise she wasn't doing so awesome with so this she has her own space she's 16 she can go into her room and have her moments when she needs to have her moments you know so I don't know that's super important for me if you have a kiddo on the spectrum that might be something that you want to consider that was why we thought of the RV side of things right. was it doesn't matter where we go during the day she'll be able to come back and have her safe place right. and all her things she's got her blankets and her you know her sensory things and all her things that are important to her yeah this is a BH is the model designation so it has a it has a bunkhouse that's what that is the bunkhouse which does give you a separate room because um, we looked at a lot of other models and they just in the unless it's a bunkhouse it doesn't have that right and you so. just you got to make it comfortable if you're doing it for that purpose then right. um, you know that's what you need to look at and she loves these recliners with the uh, massager part <laughs> um, that's one of your favorite parts isn't it <laughs> if you went and got pedicures with me they have those chairs you know <laughs> All right, we're going to get dinner cooked up, and uh, we will see you guys in the next one. Have a great night, and thanks for joining us on our travels. Bye, Bye guys.